just change the height of my wheel up a couple of inches so it is now more or less when I'll be throwing my arms will almost be parallel to the ground which is actually as high as these leg adjustments go on this gut um, which is interesting because I'm not very tall about five six five seven so I don't know how well this would work for someone who was kind of six foot something um, I mean, we'll see whether or not this is a nice height to throw at, but it feels like it's going to be quite a comfortable working height. Um, may, I'll check whether or not they do longer leg extensions, because I know some companies do. But um, these ones, this is about their limit. And some of you might be wondering why sometimes I'm throwing on my old bats. And sometimes I'm throwing on the Hartley and Noble bat system back there. Uh, I have a system for it. This is dark clay. I'm only throwing dark clay on the old bats and I'm only throwing light clay on the new bat system. And that way I can, well, the only exception for that is actually what I posted the other day with the test tiles. Because I throw test tiles to, um, basically to fill the bat. You can't do it on the, the bat inserts. And because I don't care about what the bottom of my test tiles look like, it doesn't matter if they pick up some dark clay. But other than that, dark clay things thrown on the old bats, light clay thrown on the new bats. And I've started labeling tools specifically for which color clay they're gonna be used on. Some of them it doesn't matter quite so much. And some of them I don't have in duplicate so I just have to make sure I clean them but things like trimming tools if they've picked up some of the wrong colour clay uh, you can contaminate it right at the very last stage which is incredibly frustrating so hopefully this system what would be really nice is to have a studio big enough for two wheels and then you can just separate it out completely but this system will let me switch back and forth I'm doing it kind of every couple of days now because orders come in in one clay and then I throw those and while I'm throwing those orders come in in the other clay what I could do is kind of one week on one, one week on another or, or something like that but the way I work is I basically throw orders the day after they come in if I don't already have the stock to blaze the order as it comes in um, it's a way of working that means that I'm always playing catch up, but um, I prefer it rather than doing all the work ahead of time and then having one big sale where everything goes all of a sudden. I think I could probably do that, but it means that there's a scrabble for people to get what they want and most people miss out, whereas my way everyone gets what they want and then I know what I'm making ahead of time and I get a variety of things rather than having to I decide what I'm making make it and then hope that's what people want to buy anyway, as you can probably see from where this has got to, this is a coffee pour over it's going to be a swirly coffee pour over so here comes the fun bit some of the lines out and what I need to do is get it saturated with water slow the wheel right down and look, again this is one of the things the scat is good for is that slow speed control This is a very comfortable height to throw at. That was really, it, that felt right. So 
I will Google it. I think you might be able to get longer leg inserts. There's no reason that you wouldn't be able to because of the way it's designed. They, they slide inside the existing legs and just clamp on. So they could make them any length they wanted. Um, how long they do make them, I don't know. But it'd be interesting to see. I know some people have leg extensions and put them up on bricks. So maybe this is the limit of them. But, um, Coffee pot right 